Hello one and all and welcome to YouTuber Review, a show where we go through some of the biggest names in YouTube and analyze them for their quality of content, the current status of their channels, and the personalities they put behind it, while at the same time giving them a minor helping of criticism, but only as long as you spell minor like this. On our last episode, we had a volunteer come forward, and that volunteer happened to be Cody's Lab. And as the name would likely suggest, his channel is a very experiment-oriented channel. But the thing is, he's not a mini do-it-at-home experiment type of channel. His is actually based a lot on chemistry. And in case you didn't even catch that in his title, he actually uses a bunch of elements from the periodic table to make up his channel name. I mean, we got Cobalt, Diprosium, Sulfur, Lanthanum, and of course, Boron. Now you can't say you never learned something on my show. I'm teaching you chemistry, bitch. Ignore the second definition, it's not important. But really, this channel exists to mainly do extreme types of experiments with a bunch of random elements. A lot of times doing experiments where people just wouldn't plain out have the equipment or even the raw resources to do it themselves. Anyone just raise your hand if you have a large sample of uranium ore just sitting in your shed, you know, just chilling there. And when I say access to this stuff, I'm not kidding. I mean, in a lot of his videos, he goes out and literally gets the materials himself. That's right, these rocks laying out here? Yep, we're gonna get some silver from them today. So yeah, this channel is very education-based, and if you have a chemistry class, there's probably a good chance that you've seen one of his videos by one of your teachers. But before we get too deep into them, I mean, this is the intro after all, let's just get right into the main review on Cody's lab. educational experiment-based channel known as Cody's Lab, according to his about page, joined the wonderful website known as YouTube on February 2nd, 2011. And as far as his description goes, it basically just describes what his channel's about, that he has a Patreon, and also send me stuff to this address. And over Cody's five years here on this website, he has gained himself quite a large and considerable following. I mean, look at that number. I don't think it's possible to do that many experiments guys and as far as his videos themselves go he usually uploads about two or three times a week it looks like and the thumbnails look to be something that he just takes from the video and sometimes adds some text to. and in an attempt to keep everything pretty simple you can separate these videos into four different categories first things first is his experiment oriented videos and these videos can be as simple in concept as can you flush a toilet with mercury to as risky as drinking cyanide Cyanide. And as I said earlier in this video, a lot of these experiments, most of them actually, have to do something with chemistry. Whether it's just messing around with certain elements, or going through a long process where you have to completely understand how everything is going to work together, he will usually walk you through the entire experiment from start to finish documenting every single step that he goes through in it. And yes, a lot of times it does get pretty complex. Up next, we have his metal refining and recovery videos. In these videos, he generally goes and collects resources for other videos. Yes, a lot of his materials he does process and gather himself. And actually, I think it's pretty cool just watching this stuff go from rocks to metal. Seriously, all that came from a few rocks he picked up. So yeah, if you've ever been at all curious about how rocks get turned into metal and the entire process behind it, well, this is a good series for you. It's actually pretty interesting. Up next, we have his mining videos. And this series is essentially exactly as it sounds like. It's him making a mine. It started off as a place for him to just put some of his science equipment. And since the start of the series, he's gone quite a long way and has also pulled a few materials from it so that he can just either gather it or use it in future videos. If the process of mining interests you, this is probably a very good series for you. And lastly, we have his beekeeping series. Now, I myself personally have a massive phobia of bees. Uh, not a lot of people know that, but now you do. And every single element of this series, just even me recording this, had me mentally screaming nope 
because look at this, he's not even wearing a protective suit. Jesus Christ, man, don't even professional beekeepers, like, wear those white protective suits so they don't get stung? I swear, in a clip of this, he's even fucking with the queen bee. Isn't that how you store a swarm with that if you mess with the queen bee? You are fucking brave as shit, man. But I guess if you do like beekeeping and this is an interest of yours in these types of videos, well, it is an option on his channel. He does explain keeping them pretty well. So it's pretty clear that the range of videos that he does have on his channel is pretty diverse. However, they all remain unified in the fact that in some way they are all educational. However, that's talking about his channel as it is now. It didn't used to always be that way. In fact, his first video on his channel was just him putting some homemade gunpowder on a rock and then blowing it up with, uh, just the word blown spelled wrong in the title. It, it's fantastic. Let's give it a watch. Yeah, to be honest, the video isn't that good. He doesn't even show himself rigging up the thing. Doesn't show the process of making anything. He just puts some of the gunpowder on a rock, attaches a battery, and watches it go boom. Meanwhile, putting on display some of the worst camera shaking I've ever seen in my entire life. Not to mention the constant wind hitting the microphone of the camera. <laughs> Really, it can't even be called that satisfying of a video either because the only explosion you see is this one frame of flash. Honestly, I think just watching a kid throw a handful of poppets on the ground would be a lot more satisfying than that explosion. Oh shit, look, poppets. Luckily, over that time, his content started to evolve and he changed into the channel that he is today, slowly moving towards the educational and chemistry based channel that he is today, just learning how things work together while at the same time, showing and teaching people how everything reacts and most of the time going into great deal about what he's doing in whatever experiment the entire process behind it and why he's doing it as well as a lot of times explaining why the reactions happen that are happening and some of these experiments can be just as varied as will an atmosphere of helium allow a bullet to travel faster when fired from a gun to I wonder if I can flush a toilet completely filled of mercury answer is Surprisingly, yes, and it was oddly satisfying to watch. In fact, a lot of videos on his channel, especially recently, have had a lot to do with Mercury. In fact, four of his last 18 videos were based on Mercury. This including the newest video that he posted on his channel, which uploaded two days ago called Water Bottle Flip with Mercury in Slow Motion. And yes, before we get into this, I know that another channel by the name of The Backyard Scientist did a video very very similar to this a few days ago, around the time that this video was uploaded. But keep in mind that he does address this in the video, so yeah, don't get too mad at it. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So since the water bottle flip is all the rage on YouTube, I figured I'd try doing something a little different and do it using mercury. As you can see, I've got two pounds of mercury already to this bottle here. But first, for comparison, I'm going to start with just plain water. Yeah, basically it was just a video of him comparing if it's easier to flip a water ball full of water or a water ball full of mercury. And if you're curious about the results, you have to go watch that on your own, I'm not going to spoil it here. But really, the concept itself wasn't all that original, all it really did was take a popular trend and replaced what was inside the bottle. And now that this has been tested, I'm sure that a lot of other liquid materials are going to be put inside of water balls to see if it makes it easier to flip. And while the entire video was well shot, it was very good it was extremely informative it didn't really have any funny yelks to keep it going it was all very serious and very monotone and that's something that i'd actually like to see fixed a little bit because i think just throwing a bit of comedy in there would make the videos a lot more entertaining not that i'm saying don't keep the videos smart no that that's completely fine we need smart people here on this website please you're one of the people keeping everyone from going absolutely brain dead just you know just throw some jokes in there it'll humor us a little bit but now it's about time 
time that we learned a little bit more about our friend here, Cody. First things first, he lives in Utah. He has a lot of materials that a lot of people would question how you even get a hold of. He smashes bottles on the daily. His favorite TV show is Steven Universe. His favorite pastime is torturing innocent rocks. His local firemen would likely have a stroke if he saw a lot of his setups. He once genuinely inserted a magnet into his own finger. He's got uranium just laying around in a box in his garage for reasons. And he has an individual name for each one of his bees. This one is Jimmy. But with that being said, I believe that it is about time to give Cody's Lab here his final score. So for those of you who may be new to this show, we rate channels on this show under four different categories. A 9 to 10 gets a subscribe, a 6 to 8 gets a check them out, a 4 to 5 gets a maybe watch one of their videos and make your own opinion, and a 1 to 3 gets the avoid at all cost. And based on that scale, what score does Cody end up getting? Well, with everything taken into consideration, I am going to have to end up giving Cody's Lab a final score of 6 out of 10. Now keep in mind, that's still a good score. That's still above average in my books. His show is extremely educational. He does an amazing job at explaining everything. And it's obvious that the guy himself is very smart. However, unless you find what he's showing on screen to be interesting, there's not really any reason that you would be watching it for a long period of time. Because really, he doesn't tell that many jokes to keep you engaged. And his camera work and video editing, which has been getting better, I'll give him credit, in his newer videos, it still really isn't that expertly put together, and definitely still could use some improving. However, on the educational side of things, you do always seem to walk away from one of these videos feeling a little bit smarter, so that is a good thing. He does a very good job at teaching you about stuff, and if anything at all on screen looked interesting to you, this is probably a channel that you'd like to check out. I'd just see a lot more people enjoying his stuff if he were to take in these criticisms. But with that being said, it is once again time to spin the mighty wheel of selection. Oh boy guys, it looks like we have the iPhone and Apple goddess here, I Justine. This is going to definitely be an interesting one. Let's do it. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button, and if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. Definitely make sure you go and check out Cody's Lab. His link is in the description, and if you don't want to look through that, I have his video playing on screen right now. All you have to do is click it. He'll send you right to his channel. You can check out any of his stuff. I know I may have given him a 6 out of 10, but still, that's an above average score. He is a great channel, okay? You should go check him out. Especially if anything on screen at all interested you that you saw. Also, speaking of checking things out, have you checked out Lord Bung yet? If you haven't, I, I mean, I've lost complete and utter faith in you. I mean, he's been here forever. Why haven't you checked him out yet? I mean, his baby dinosaurs are basically eating his corpse at the moment, but you should probably go check him out. But yeah, anyways, guys, with that being said, I will see you on the next video tomorrow. As always, this is Whiplash signing out. <laughs>